What's up, guys? You're watching the Brawadis NBA Show. I'm your host, Brandon Awadis. And I'm Faze Rugg. My brother, Faze Rugg. And today, I promised you guys that I was going to do a QA. and um, I didn't expect that many questions to come in the comments. I got at least 50 questions. I'm going to try my best to answer half of them. I'm going to try to get through at least 20, 25. Also, um, did you hear David West going to the Spurs? Yeah, that's crazy. He turned down over $12 million. He signed for a million bucks with the San Antonio Spurs. Anyways, okay, I'm going to start off with the first question from Zoe50. Do you think the Sacramento Kings make the playoffs? No, I do not. I think they're going to improve. They'll probably go to like 10th or 11th in the West, but I don't think they have what it takes. The West is just too stacked. Second question. I agree. How do you think the Lakers rank in the West by Carson Moyers? Um, the Lakers got better than last year with Roy Hibber and Lou Williams. Still not a playoff team. The West, like just like the Kings, they got better, but they still won't make the playoffs. It's too stacked. This is from It's Jackson and Cursed Aspects. Kind of the same question. Why are you a Suns fan? What made you a Suns fan? Um, my whole family, Laker fans, but I just fell in love with Steve Nash and Amari Sotomayor, like 2008, 2009. And ever since then, it just, it's been my life. Did the Spurs overpay for Danny Green from Eric Lugo? No. If you look at the market, they I'm pretty sure uh, Danny Green actually took a pay cut to stay with the Spurs. $11 million is not bad at all for Danny Green. Jonathan Thompson, where does Eric Bledsoe get moved? Eric Bledsoe is not going to be traded. That's the number one thing that people confuse. The Suns did not bring in Brandon Knight to replace Eric Bledsoe. They brought him to play alongside Eric Bledsoe. Unless they're getting a star in return, I don't see him getting traded. Ty Lawson, yes, he'll be traded. That was obvious once they drafted Emmanuel Moutier. I'm not sure where he gets traded, especially since the Kings picked up Rajon Rondo. But I still think he gets traded. From Kuli Jinder Singh, are the Bulls still a contender despite having a rookie head coach? I actually think they are, especially because... The supposed rift between Tom Thibodeau and the front office. I think this, they still got the same talent. I think they're a contender in the East. It doesn't matter. I actually think this head coach might give the rookies some minutes. So Doug McDermott, Bobby Portis, Miritich gets more minutes. I think it's good. Thoughts on Tyus Jones from Keaton Warner. He said he thinks he's going to be great. I don't know what you mean by great. I think he'll be a great backup. I'm not sure if he can start in the league. He's kind of like Shabazz Napier. He does have that winning mentality, which is why I think if he stayed in Cleveland, it would have been better. He did get traded to Minnesota, but I like Tyus Jones as a backup. He'll be a really good backup. Favorite player in the NBA, Eric Bledsoe. Favorite team besides the Suns? I have no answer for that. That was from Wrecked, Not Wrecked. And who my favorite player was was from Soul Pro Proctor. From CNA Films... And, bro, do you even lift? NBA Finals next season. I want to take a prediction. You could take your prediction All first. Right. Um, oh, you know, you go first. You go I'll first. go first. San Antonio Spurs are coming oh, yeah, out of the West. Sure. I don't care what anybody says. Spurs and Cavs. Spurs and Cavs, especially with the Cavs trying to add Joe Johnson and, and now Jamal Crawford. Okay, yeah, it's Spurs and Cavs for sure. Okay, from Dave and Ari, fun teams to watch. You know I'm going to go with my Phoenix Suns, obviously. Warriors. But also, yeah, the Golden State Warriors, Oklahoma City Thunder, if they're healthy. Um, <laughs> Cleveland Cavaliers, yeah. obviously. There's some fun teams to watch. Spurs are going to be fun to watch now. Spurs are going to be fun to watch. Not for me, Scary. but... Scary. From Mr. Sports Nation, dream lineup for present players. I'm going to just go fast. Russell Westbrook... James Harden, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and DeMarcus Cousins. Can you imagine being on a court with them trying to play against them? The, the, <laughs> probably the hardest one was Steph Curry or, or Russell Westbrook. That was pretty hard. But yeah, that's my dream lineup. The Rockets. My thoughts on the Rockets or and if they have a finals run in them. This is from the only Louis Gallegos and Jay Villa. Um, the Rockets are a good team, top five in the West. They didn't do anything significant that makes me think they're a championship team, at least not this offseason, but their GM, Maury's always aggressive, so you don't know what they're going to do. I think they're a good team. 
win close to 60 games. I'm not sure if they they have a finals run in them, honestly. From Era Dignify, are the Hawks top three in the East, and was Damari Carroll a huge loss? If Damari Carroll left any other team, I'm not sure he would be that big of a loss, but losing the Atlanta Hawks, he was pretty much the heart and soul for their team. I think they take a big blow, but they kept Millsap. They added Tiago Splitters, so uh, I'll put them third or fourth in the East. So top three is possible. Dignifies my friend. What's up, Dignify? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Okay, this one's from I'm hyped. Which team lands Kevin Durant next year? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this cautiously. He stays with the Oklahoma City Thunder, but it makes a lot of sense for him to go to Washington. It makes, it almost makes way too much sense. That I don't think it's gonna happen right now. I say Oklahoma City Thunder. Why Washington? Because that's his hometown, and they they have a need at small forward. They got a lot of money to spend. We'll see. Right now, I'm saying OKC, but don't be surprised if the Thunder come out of nowhere. Giovanni Alfaro, Lakers playoff team. No, I answered that earlier. They upgraded their talent, but I just don't see any way that they make the playoffs in the West. Oh, I like this question from David Vargason. A gold Bugatti or a Suns championship? I'm going to let my brother answer that one for me. A Suns championship? What you kind guys, of question is that? You guys are going to think I'm crazy. He, because would, he would literally turn that down for I the would, Suns winning a championship. I would, turn down a, I would turn down two gold Bugattis. The Suns, the, the Suns need a championship. I'm going to leave it at that. You guys think he's kidding too. But no, he's <laughs> I'm not, not joking. Kidding. From CMCL. Sixers, a playoff team with Jaleel Okafor. No. And it's not because they can't. It's because they don't want to. If they wanted to make the playoffs, I'm pretty sure in the in the Eastern Conference, they could put together a team with enough talent to make it. I just, I think they're still trying to tank, get that, get that superstar, whether they believe Jilly Oak for or not. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs next year, but that's by choice. The Raptors, who do they sign to replace Amir Johnson at the four? As crazy as it sounds, I read that they want Damari Carroll at the four. I have no idea how that's going to work out. But in my opinion, they should go after uh, probably Amari Stoudemire to come off the bench. As a starter, you guys would probably have to go through a trade. There isn't too many free agents left out there right now. From Czech Heartless, biggest rookie impact, Jaleel Okafor. Considering the 76ers play him, he's huge. He's, he's He could be the most talented player on that roster already. Rookie of the year. From Antoine, that's pretty much like the last question. I'm going to go Jaleel Okafor, but don't be surprised if D'Angelo Russell wins it, especially if he gets a ton of minutes with the Lakers. Last question I'm going to answer from Kobe Cole. Three favorite Suns legends. I can answer this for you, too. Um, I just turned 20 years old, so I'm not sure about legends. Amari, Try to answer my Amari first. Stoudemire. Amari Stoudemire is one. Steve Nash. Steve Nash. I don't know the third. Come oh, on. Eric Bledsoe. No. Oh, no, my third favorite is Goran Dragic. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? Uh, you could argue, obviously, Sean Marion, Charles Barkley, KJ, all these players, but I'm going with what I know. I'm, I've am i been following the Suns for, like, six years, so I'm I'm going to go Amari Stoudemire, Steve Nash, and Goran Dragic. Brian? I have a question for you. You're going to ask me my last question. Um, If you had to predict the Suns' record next season and what place they fall in the West, what do you predict? I'm going to predict 82-0. With a, no, I'm just joking. I'll say... Signing Tyson Chandler, we won 30. Well, Rug is gone. Anyways, Tyson Chandler, we drafted Devin Booker, re-signed Brandon Knight. We only had him for 11 games last year. We're going to have him for a full season. TJ Warren and Alex Len improving. I'm going to put the Phoenix Suns 45 wins, 37 losses. They will capture that eighth and final playoff spot in the West. Hello, playoff basketball. It's been five years. That's my prediction. And the answer to my final question. I'm sorry if I didn't get to all your guys' questions. I'll definitely be doing another Q&A soon. Until then, thank you for watching.